Hi, Tom here, welcome back to the channel. In this, I'm gonna show you how to build a quiz app using Django and HTMX. It's really cool to use, really easy to do this. And essentially we're gonna build a multi-stage form using HTMX and Django. On top of that, I'll show you how to add content really neatly into your Django database to build up loads of quizzes as you'd like. And then we'll also generate data with an LLM, which is optional, but is a cool technique to see. Okay, let's get into it. So. Here we are, I'm gonna be using Replit for the first time, which is an online IDE, non-affiliated, but I'm just interested to try them out. Okay, so here's the guide that we're gonna be following and link in the description below. Let's go, and here we are. So quiz HTML, create REPL. Let's make me a bit, oh, I'm like, okay size. And then pip install upgrade into their shell. That's now done. Now let's get on to set up our, the rest of our Django app. Now we need to add our app sim to the installed apps and settings.py. So go to core settings.py and then down to installed apps and then add sim. Great. Okay, now we're gonna add our templates. We're gonna create a folder into the sim apps. How this will work with HTMX is we'll have an initial HTML file and then the HTMX parts we will dynamically get HTML chunks to insert into that HTML initial template. Yeah, very simple. Okay, so we're going to sim and then add folder called templates and then create a file, add a file there called start.html and then go down and paste this in. You see it's got styling here and then some Django parts with HTMX, just copy it in. And then we're gonna create another folder inside the templates folder called partials. And this, and then we'll add another file there called answer.html. Copy that. And did that go going? Yep. And then create another file in the partials folder called finish.html. And this is our congratulation message. Finish.html. Make sure you've got those that those directories. So partials inside templates, and then start inside templates because that's not going to be a partial that's going to be a full page that we render and that's what we then load these partials into and there's one more a question to html in the partials folder a file question html and paste the code in there looks good okay and there's no need for this spacing here let's remove that cool okay now we will add our views to handle the data so go into sim and then views is them and then copy this in like that very brief overview that i don't know why this is red okay because this isn't like the formatting there we go um so yeah multiple views we will have a start which then gets all the potential quizzes from the app and then we get all the quiz all the questions for a particular quiz we get the first question and then we get subsequent questions based on HTMX in our HTML requesting a subsequent question from our Django app. Yeah, that's the HTMX way. You never, you don't use, instead of using JSON, you use HTML. Might be a bit odd to a start, but it comes with a lot of benefits uh, in that you, it's much more controllable and you know what's going on. Anyway, let's continue. Now we'll create our URLs. So go to update your core here, core URLs. Copy that in. Okay, it's not pasting. Over, there we go. And it wants a... Okay, I don't know why the, what, what, what that's complaining about. We will leave that. And now go into create a URLs file in your sim app folder. And so add file, urls.py. And so these are for your app level routes and then paste this in. So these are all of our routes and they connect to all of our views. Okay, now we're gonna add our questions and answers database structure. This is how we will, the data model for how we'll store the question and answer for each quiz. So copy this in here. It should look fairly, fairly simple. You have many quizzes. Each quiz can have many questions. Um, and so it's a foreign key. Each question goes to each quiz. Uh, the, each question can have multiple answers. And um, now we will create it. So go back to the, so copy this and go to your shell. There's the shell, it's just as a tab. Cool, and um, let's close some of these then. Okay, and paste in make migrations to make your migrations and to migrate. 
Great, that's done. You can see your SQLite database has been created there. Okay, so now that's pretty much done. Now we want to actually add some content and add quiz data into your database. Okay, so let's load some data into our database. And yeah, we've created the app now, but we want to actually get some content in so that we can make useful and interesting quizzes. So a slow way would be to create a Django user, a super user, and then add data manually. I'm going to show you the fast way, which is to load a batch of data into your database using the load data Django management command. This is much easier to do. You've probably encountered this before. It's a really useful Django technique, uh, but I'll show you how to use YAML, which you might not have seen before, and that's even nicer than JSON, for example. So let's do it. So we need to just go here and then create a file called quizdata.yaml in the root folder. Quizdata.yaml. And then here is the sample data. You can load in your data if you want, but let's use mine to start. And these is one, this is just one quiz. This one. Paste it in. Warning here for uh, one bug that I hit first with Replit here is that you can see here YAML needs the correct indentation. You can see here it's re-indented it to be incorrect. Click here on spaces and then click the two, I think there are four spaces, I guess. Uh, maybe we can do two actually. Um, no, well, let's, let's go four as usual. And so there you go. And so it looks again like this data here. You'll probably have no issue with that if you're doing this locally, but if you're using Replit, you'll need to do that. Cool. And then close that. And then we go, so we've got our file here and you can see it's really nicely, uh, very readable as data goes compared to JSON, for example. If we wanted to change, you can see here that all answers linking to a particular question. This is answer for question six, answer for question six, 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 and then a new question and then the answers for each of it. So you could edit any of your data very easily. And hopefully you can see how this, you could use this for any form uh, whatsoever. So now we're in the shell, and now let's copy this in. Python load data. There we go. And that's it, it's into your database. Okay, so we've created our quiz app. We've loaded in some interesting data. Let's actually run it. The best moment, if you're running it locally on your computer, just run Python manage.py run server, click. If you're running on Replit like I am, we need to do this. So just search here for Replit for our configuration file. Copy this in. And we have these, and then and then we go down to our core settings file here, and we need to up, allow the Replit server. So change it allowed hosts and paste this over. Oh, we don't want that. Allowed hosts to dot replit dot dev because that will pick up anything that's that's running on Replit, which we're running our Replit server on here, and then add this line underneath to trust Replit. Okay, good. Okay, good. And now let's run it. Great, and here's our app. And so we go to this new tab. What would you like to learn about? And we can select, yeah, have as many quizzes as you want. This is what corresponds to our direct data. Let's start it. What is Newton's first law of motion state? That is object stays at rest or object in motion unless acted on by an unbalanced force. And then I'll just rattle through them. I'll just pick the first one and then yeah, just go through these quickly. <laughs> There we go. Quiz complete. You scored 66% for, for correct six questions. Start another quiz. And then that will refresh the page and go. And as you saw, there's no refresh because we're loading HTML in via HTMX each time. So if you want to add to this at the moment, we're here in our views and you can see we're getting the correct answer and then checking it and then storing it in the request. It'd be nice to save the user's answers. You could also let the user log in and save their answers, perhaps using this tutorial, which I created. But yeah, there's a lot to do. And then this allows you to build any type of form um, multi-stage with HTMX. And I'll just give you the bonus here. So this is a way to generate good quiz data, because actually let's say you want to use this for something and learn a new language or learn more of programming or whatever you want, science, let's say. A, a nice way to get the quiz data in our format that we're using with the YAML is to use this prompt here with ChatGPT. So if I go to ChatGPT here and then enter in this prompt here, I'm creating, I'm paste that. I'm creating, here's a sample of, I'm, so I'm give a format that we're using. Actually, let's say additional, and we can change this to, to fundamental laws of color theory, let's say. That should work. And yeah, I'm going to run that. 
as you can see, it's producing, uh, yeah, we should be able to, with no edit, with very little editing, insert this straight into our database. And so you have a new quiz on this new topic and the potential for you to have that on any topic. Let's try another one, actually. Let's just close that and let's say on the, what's a, something, something obvious, like on, let's use, let's use a really popular, so let's say on the mating habits of emperor penguins. Lots of people will want to know about that. And there you go, Emperor Penguin mating habits. When do they typically create questions in our format? And then March or April. And I actually think that is, yeah, that is correct because they eat from January to March and then they begin the breeding season. We can, and then there's an answer there. So that's it. Really hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And besides that, I'm building my product, Photon Designer, which is a way to build Django front end entirely visually and much, much faster. And then I'm also creating more Django content for free weekly. Link to my mailing list in the description below. And yeah, here are a few more videos.